welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to show you a technique. Um, this is called a receding panel card and I did it both ways. I flipped it. Um, this is the, oh, I'm sorry, this one's the original that I found on Pinterest from a lady named Wanda. Um, she has a blog that um, shows this card, but um, when I was making the last video, or trying to, <laughs> I made a mistake and I flipped it, and you know what, it's still pretty. It's still pretty either way. So you can be the judge on which way you like it, but I just wanna show you tonight on how to do that technique. So a couple things you're gonna need is your card base, which I am using Whisper White cardstock. You're going to need, um, there's my card base. Then you're going to need an a co coordinating uh, solid color with your pattern paper that you choose to use. I'm using Crush Curry. And then your DSP paper. And then another piece of Whisper White card. Now all three of these measure four and a quarter by five and a half. They are going to fit exactly over our card base, like that. So, and then we'll cut accordingly. So let's go ahead and get started on this. A couple additional things you will need is a pencil and a ruler, because we'll do some marking as well. All right, I'm gonna set those off to the side. Here's my card base. The first thing I'm gonna do right off the bat is go ahead and we can put our DSP directly down on the card base. So it's going to just directly fit over our front, like so. Okay, we'll put that up there. The second thing I want to do is take my, take one of the pieces. I'm going to mark on this one instead of my white one. I'll keep my white piece clean. But I'm going to lay it in front of me, but then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so we can mark on this. Okay, you're going to take your ruler and you're just, you're going to start at the bottom. And you're going to go in from the left side. You're going to mark it uh, three quarters of an inch, which is right there. And then one and an eighth, which will be right there. Okay. Now your first mark, no, I'm oh, sorry, let's go up. Let's go ahead and make our marks up here, which I'm going to mark at three inches, okay? So three quarters of an inch, one and an eighth, and then on the top, you're gonna mark at three. Now I'm gonna turn it back around so my two marks face the top, and the you're gonna line your ruler up with the first mark and the mark the three inch mark like this. And I'm just gonna draw a very light line, more of a guide, down to the three inch mark, okay? Now my one and an eighth mark will actually go down to the corner of my, my cardstock. So that's the way it's gonna look. We're actually gonna cut this piece out. But you want it to match with your Whisper White cardstock. So what you do, is you put them together, okay? Now, let me get out my cutting tool, okay? Now I'm gonna move the camera because I want you to see how I'm doing this. I got both together as perfectly straight as I can possibly get them, and I'm gonna start at the top with the top mark, and that line it's going to go down to the three inch mark and it's just going to lay inside my cutting groove, okay? So you want to make sure that's laying there. And I don't know if you can see that on my camera. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see. All right. So there's my top mark and my line that goes down to the three inch mark, okay? Sometimes those things are hard to see with a camera. Okay, so we're gonna cut that together. Now, it's not recommended with our stamping cutter to 
cut more than one sheet, but with this certain type I do, but you have to press on your cutting thing very hard. So you're just gonna go like that, okay? And that comes apart. This is our one piece to the card, so I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna do the same thing except for the second mark. I'm going to line it up with my corner and I want to see the pencil line along my cut my cutting blade. So let me do it again. There we are. That should there we go. This piece we don't need, so we're gonna put that aside. And then this is our bottom piece. Okay? I hope I explained that well to you. Now I'm just gonna take a little eraser and kind of clean up my little little marks, even though they'll probably be covered up when I'm done anyway, okay? Now I'm gonna bring in my card base again, like so. And I'm also gonna bring in my first card so I can see what, see what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm gonna erase that little mark as well. Doing a little bit cleaning up, I guess, you can call it. So this, you want it to overlay. Now I haven't glued anything down yet, so I'm just kind of testing this out. But I want to overlay that so it sticks out about a quarter of an inch or so, and it's gonna go that way. And then the same thing with the bottom, maybe a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, kind of whatever you want to want it shown, but it goes like that, okay? So now let's get everything glued together. I'm going to put my glue on my Crush Curry, okay? So we're just gonna stick that out just a little bit just enough to give it a border. Okay, and same with the bottom piece. I'm gonna go down and across like that. Okay. I'm gonna turn it so I can get that. It's more comfortable for me if I turn it and just lay it how I want that piece to lay, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the card back in, make sure it's right side up. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach it to the card. Actually, the hardest part of this card is making it, uh, is the measuring. Okay, and then the bottom piece. Like so, like that. See how you can just, the, the DSP paper just peeks through the paneling, like that. Now I went ahead and fussy cutted the DSP and I forgot to tell you, my DSP paper is from the Whole Lot of Lovely Designer Series paper. It's just really soft collars, a lot, some water coloring. Um, so I just took a piece of 12 by 12 and cut my pieces out of that and I fussy cutted them. Um, and I want to pop my flowers up with dimensionals. So on the bigger one, I usually use two. The smaller one will use one. Like that. Okay. So we can kind of place those where we want them, All right? I don't know if you can hear, but the wind is really blowing outside. We're supposed to get some colder weather coming through, and I'm not ready for cold weather. Okay, and then we can kind of tuck that one underneath there like so. Okay, so there's our two pieces. 
little bit different. A little bit. Okay. I am you I'm using an old stamp set that's still around. It's Thoughts and Prayers. And from our Stampin' Up collection. And this actually we're wood mounted. And I'm also using Early Espresso ink. And I'm gonna make this one this one different. This is sharing, sharing in your sorrow. And there we go. That is all there is to it. Very simple, very pretty. I think it's very pretty. And this is the one I started with. I wanted to show how, and, and then this is the one that looks like it's been flipped, which still looks really nice. So, alrighty, there you go. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a good night. Bye. Bye.